Yo, what is good? So I hope that all you guys are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to break down how you can create these trippy backgrounds effects easily inside of After Effects within just two simple steps. It's really simple and a real time saver, so let's just get straight into it. Here I have my scene from this Wolfface Joey music video. It's a bit short, but I'm gonna start off by masking out my subject using the rotor brush tool, and then double click on my layer and start masking them out. Now as you can see, when he moves his hand right here, the rotoscoping messes up a little bit, but I'm going to try to track him as good as possible and you won't be able to see that as much when I'm done. So I just finished masking out my subject and now I'm going to press freeze right here to make sure that the rotoscoping doesn't mess up later on. So now that my rotoscope is frozen, I'm going to add on a refined soft matte effect just to give the edges a little bit more clean look and not look so rough. And then I'm turning down the edge radius and turn up the feather. These settings depend on your clip, so just get something that looks good for you. The next step is to duplicate your layer and go to the bottom layer and remove all effects. Now to create these crazy trippy backgrounds, I'm going to use my own preset pack called the Trippy Backgrounds Effects. And I'm going to have it linked in the description for you guys with a discount code. And I know that editing assets can be really expensive. So I'm going to link it in the description with a discount code just to make it as affordable and cheap for you guys as possible. Now, if you have this pack, all you really need to do is grab the files and drag them into your After Effects and then just start picking between all of these presets. Me personally, I think I'm going to use the Vortex Blast effect. So all I need to do is drag this onto my background layer. And here I have the effect. That's really all I needed to do. It's that simple. So if you guys are interested, you can head to the link down below and you can use the discount code for $5 off. But I'm going to go through some of the other effects for you guys. Next, I also have this freaky splash effect. And I mean, this one also looks really good. This is more of a impact hit type of effect that adds a little bit more energy to your videos. So, I mean, this one is also great, one of my personal favorites, but I have some more crazy ones in here. So let's head to the next one. This one is called LSD Distortion, and this one is also crazy. And my favorite thing with all of these presets is that you can just adjust them to your liking. So if I want to shorten this down, I can just select all my keyframes and drag them back. Or if I want to change the color, I can just adjust that. I mean, it's really simple to use and if you have any questions, you can just DM me. I reply to all of my DMs. Next, I have this one that I call Melting Stars. It's one of my personal favorites. I just like the trippy look that it gives and it's kind of psychedelic effect. And just like the other ones, you can adjust this to your liking. Drag the keyframes up or drag them down, however you like. And lastly, I want to give a quick honorable mention to this one that I call Psychedelic Blast. It's also one of my favorites. It's really unique and I've been using this one for years. Just like all of the other ones, all of these are my personal presets that I've been using while creating client work for rappers like Enelie Choppa, Kodak Black and many more. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.